the the operative question that we have today, Nick, for the for the first training here, how do I develop you know my own style of playing? And I remember as a kid thinking that one thing. I remember seeing guitars and being like, ah, I want to do that, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, tell us today, what is, what's one of the styles that um, you know any guitarist can take on? Today we're going to focus on finger picking. Um, which means exactly what it sounds like. It's basically just taking the pick, putting it right here, and just using our five fingers. Um, this is also a technique that you will find pretty frequently in classical guitar, uh, as you can see from this guitar and my other guitar, that is not a thing that I play. So we are gonna be focusing more on folk music, uh, bluegrass, old time, folk, anything like that. Um, Generally, for guitar, it uses a lot of finger picking, and it gets a really specific and very beautiful sound. Yeah. So when you when you use um, a, any sort of finger picking style, um, and I noticed you you put your pick in a spot that I've, I've ever never seen it. Put <laughs> I actually. So this is uh, this guitar. It's it's called an arch top. Uh, okay. Just, Hang on a second. All right. There we go. Try that one more time because I had the. Yeah. yeah. If you if you have an arch top guitar. Pro tip, right here, the, the neck kind of goes away from the body a little bit. I like and that. I use a pretty thick pick. Uh, a thin fender pick might just fall through, but if you have a thicker pick, you can just wedge it right in there, and then you have easy access if you want to switch between. So I've always found that very useful. So what do, what do you use more then? What do you use more? I mean, you know, why is it important to have two learning style? Oh, well, two styles here. Like, we want to focus. The question is, you know, why is it important to develop more? How do I develop my own style? But what you, you're kind of insinuating here, um, having playing with a pick or a plectrum, as we might call it, um, yeah. uh, playing with a pick or playing with fingers. You know, why is it, why is it important to play with both? Uh, yeah, well, so actually, I mean, in, in my own style, I usually have a pick uh, between my thumb and first, but I'm also using my other three fingers to sort of finger pick in addition to that. So I kind of use what most people would call a hybrid style. Uh, but in general, for, for you, the listener, no matter what you're doing, I think, I think it's important to be able to do both because it just it gives you options. And option, uh, options will always make you both a more versatile player. You know, if you ever get called for a gig or if you're trying to learn a specific song, you can, you can sound a lot of different ways. And then also, as you're developing your own personal style, you will have more to draw from. You'll have more sounds that are kind of in your... You know, having both your fingers and your, um, as, as a tool and, and a pick is important for development. And I think you wanted to, um, speaking of development, uh, <laughs> just like with the Real Brave Method here at Studio, you know, we have three kind of areas that, um, we like to focus on lessons, and this is important. This doesn't doesn't matter if, if it's in in the lesson or or whatever. Playing with somebody, excuse me, um, is is one of the most important things. And you can actually play something for me, which can show sure um, the advantages of using both right now, right? So I think we talked about the song by it's a wonderful song by Elizabeth Cotton. So it's a beautiful song. It's a classic. It's been covered by a lot of people in a variety of styles, which kind of ties into what we're talking about about options. Let's, yeah, let's, like, I'll, I'll actually, I'll start with the chords. Um, and this is a little bit of a finger picking lesson in and of itself. Um, Elizabeth Cotton played in a style uh, that is native to the North and South Carolina regions, kind of the mid East Coast area. Uh, and it's called the Piedmont style, Piedmont Blues, P I E D M O N T. And we can delve into this more later. The most basic explanation I can give is that you are alternating the lowest note of the chord and whatever note is on the D string. That's the third string from the bottom. Uh, and you're doing that with your thumb and then you're filling in the gaps with your, uh, with your other fingers. And again, we can get into more detail on that in a bit, but it sounds something like this. Very cool. Pretty simple. We got four chords. We got C, 
G, E, and F. If you subtract the other kind of fill in the space, uh, just the thumb would sound like this. The melody sounds like this. We have a uh, one, two, three, four. Got the chords. And we've got the melody. Oh, I keep playing that wrong note. Um, but yeah, if we want to put them together, what we do is we're actually we're still using our thumb to alternate on those low notes. We're using our uh, our, our middle two fingers to kind of fill in that middle of the chord space. And then we're using our version of, I'll play one time. Over it, over it. Two, three, four. once through Freight Train 